Okay, we have our uh, orbit around the moon now. And uh, if we notice, the relative inclination to our plan is really low. And also, the uh, apoapsis and the periapsis are pretty close to what our, our plan is. I'm going to advance time to bring us around close to our time to depart. We'll remember that uh, we want to look at when we begin the burn. So uh, here we come around. And we're going to begin the burn in about 100 seconds. I've turned prograde. And I'll slow time down to real time here shortly. And in five seconds, we'll start our burn. We are turned prograde. And we are now burning. And we want to watch our delta V drop. I'm going to speed up time a little bit. And we've dropped our delta V to uh, we'll drop our delta V down here. I'm also adjusting uh, with a little of a little bit of lateral here. to the left and reducing our semi-major difference down towards zero. And we've got everything pretty much set here. Our delta V is close, our relative inclination is close, and our semi-major. So now we warp ahead until the, uh, the stage changes. And what we want to do, so I'm going to bring myself a little closer and we'll be able to see when we line up with this uh, axis. Remember we had set that up previously. And when we're close to this axis, we're going to do a mid-course correction. Yeah, it's pretty close. We're going to do our mid-course correction now. So we hit maneuver, on, and we don't know how much we're going to have to do. Let's just see what this looks like. Let's go the other way. Okay, I saw it wiggle. And that is good. We'll hit our target. We're going to rotate to hit the X. We've got about an 8 meter per second burn. Do a little burn. Clean it up with translation. really close. And we'll now turn off the maneuver. So we're very much in plane with uh, our surrogate. And let's check. I like to take a look at uh, interplanetary. And just to see what we've got. We are referencing the Earth, it looks like. It says that our uh, periapsis is a little bit low. So what we can do now is check to see that we are close enough to the Earth that we can use uh, prograde.
and we're now aiming prograde. Come back to interplanetary. We'll use translation. And I'm just going outward to the right a tiny bit to bring that up to a reasonable value. And let's just say around 175 is plenty close to the Earth. We have a nice miss of it. We'll bring up TransX again. And we're going to come forward till uh, just about the time where we're almost arriving at the Earth. Okay, this is close enough. Now what we're going to do is change from ships to planets, moons, escape, forward, Mars. We're going to turn on a maneuver and have a little bit of prograde. Won't take very much. And we're going to move our date forward. So the periapsis MJD is uh, 0.4887. Uh, That's too far. That looks like it's right on. So now we come back. We've positioned our maneuver right at the periapsis. We're going to add a little prograde. And we can see what we're doing here is we've got our the maneuver is going to send us out to Mars. Let's go ahead now and change when it happens. Let's go a little bit past. Bring our prograde And we've shows at a 1.7. Let's go a little bit more past and see what we get. And that's not as good. So we're going to change to backing it up. And just a little playing around with our And it shows 1.1. It's not too bad. Yeah, let's go forward on the date or back a bit. That looks pretty close. Probably close enough for government work. Here we go. So we have our maneuver. We're going to rotate to get the X. We advance the time. And when it hits zero, we'll start our burn. Notice we have about a 500, and there's the burn starting, about a 550 meter per second burn, which is uh, pretty low. I'm going to advance the time slightly. Getting ready to turn off the engine. We'll finish it off with a little bit of translation. And then we turn off the maneuver. One more, there it is, and off. And it shows a pretty close pass at Mars. Not bad for a 550 meter per second burn after escaping the moon.